welcome back to yet another video of Tiny Lands, the amazing Spot the Differences game by Hyper3 Studio. In this video, I will show you all the difference in the Waterlands. Of course, uh, I would advise you to first look for the difference yourself and don't use this guide unless you are abso absolutely certain you cannot find the differences. But the guide begins in the Waterlands. Here we go. Let's start on the first map, which seems to be a raft. Here we are. A raft next to the island, spotting five differences. Already I see there is a red starfish on the left and an orange one on the right. Let's click it. On the raft itself, one of the barrels is smaller on the left and bigger on the right. Here we go. What else can we see? The shovel above the cross is positioned differently. There we go. Let's make a turn, shall we? The coral here is smaller on the left and bigger on the right. There we go. Four out of five. Let's make a turn and see what we can find. What can we find? Having turned over fish here. It's green on the right and purple on the left. There we go. Five out of five. Onwards to the next. It seems we're going on a beach adventure this time. On this beach, we're looking for five differences. And the first one I see is again the fish in the water. Purple on the left, blue on the right. There we go. The umbrella in the middle. Here it's positioned to the right and on the right picture it's positioned to the left. Moving on. Here the thing against the against the fence. Couldn't couldn't find the word. It's bigger in the right picture. There we go. What else can we see? The girl seems normal. Let's make a turn. Oh, the flag! It's blue on the left and purple on the right. Let's make a turn to find the last one, which is the bucket. The bucket is positioned differently. There we go. Onwards to number three in this world, the water world. Looks like we're going sailing. Um, here the buoy is red and purple on the right, so let's take that one for starters. What else can we see? The sails on the uh, left picture are different from the right. Let's take that as well. That's two out of five. These guys seem to be in the same color. Uh, seagull seems similar as well. Looking for slight differences. Let's make a turn for it. This all looks the same. That's so amazing about this game. We are looking for really small differences. Here, the porthole. It's big on the right and small on the left. There we go. Only two more. Maybe something about the boat itself. You never know. You never know. With spot the differences games. These sails seem normal, the gulls also seem normal. I say normal, but what I mean is similar. I mean everything is normal. Pizza box, no differences there. The ladder is positioned differently on the boat. There we go. Only one more. Which is the surfboard, here, on the side of the boat different colors onwards to map number four in the water world we're going to the beach yet again but now we are using the surfboards we saw earlier and we are going surfing let's see what does the surfing map do for us this seagull is bigger on the right than it is on the left to start 
see all these chairs yes one of the towels this one is blue and on the right it is pink so that is a difference this surfboard is again inverted in color so we click that one as well here is a starfish orange on the left and red on the right makes it four out of five looking for the last difference which is um, the bag is positioned differently there we go five out of five and we move on to map number five in the water level which is a lighthouse five differences in the lighthouse what can we find let's have a look the seagull on the left is darker there we go turn around a bit the anchor is positioned differently which makes it two the flag on the docks green on the left red on the right there we go the windows seem to be in order um, this bucket is silver on the left and red on the right the ladder also seems to be in order what about all the coral? We we found the coral before in different colors. Seems normal in this one. As do the windows. We hear the seagulls crying because they want to see the puzzle solved. Oh, here it is! It is the coral! It is light green on the left and dark green on the right. There we go! Halfway through the water level, onwards to map number six. And the lighthouse has taken us to the raft. We're going rafting. Let's have a look. Five differences while going rafting. The bottle in the middle is positioned differently. There we go. The bottle in the middle is the first difference. These people all seem to wear the same clothes, clothes in both pictures. Coral seems to be in order, or as do these fish. Let's see, another shark here on the right. The tail seems to be bigger on the right. Yes, it is. It counts the entire shark. That makes it even easier. Let's see, anything else on the ship, maybe? Not the buckets, not the bottles. Not the spear. Let's see. This fish has a different color again. It's blue on the left. Yes, there we go. There we go. Which means we need to find two more differences. What about the flag? No. Seems to be in order. Oh, we've gone around the entire thing. We hear some fish splashing in the sound. The paddle seems to be in order as well. Looking for the coral again and the fish. Very suspicious. As they have been before. Here's another fish. But it's also the same color as is the flag. Come on, how hard can it be? Is a question you will ask yourself many times playing this game how hard could it be but it is hard it is hard two more differences the coral seems normal the fish as well what about the stones come on fins no, these fins are similar The stone, it's a lot bigger in the right picture. How did I not see it the first time around? Playing this game, you you think you have eye problems. I actually do have eye problems, but shouldn't be so bad to not be able to spot differences. Only one more to go. We've only found one on the raft so far. So you would think it would be something there. What about the ropes? No, the fish, the bottles or cans. 
fishing rod with the hooks. It's all the same. The backpack is the same as well. As is the spear. Let's zoom in a bit, maybe we can see better. Suspicious starfish there, but it's orange on both ends. The school of fish also has the same color. Oh, it's the slippers! You, you probably saw this way before me. The slippers are positioned differently. There we go. The flip-flops. Onwards to map number seven already. Come on! A big whale has found its way into our puzzle. What can we see with the whale map? Let's first check the seagulls. They seem normal. No, this one is positioned differently. There we go, one difference found. Then there's the fish next to the whale. It's colored differently. Let's make a slight turn, shall we? How about the whale itself? Fins look the same in both pictures. But you never know. Look closely, Tom. Come on. Nothing about the blowhole. No. We hear some whale sounds. How do I know what whale sounds are, you might ask? Gaming experience, I suppose. Uh, the fish over here also is colored differently. There we go. Only two more. All the fish here up top. You, th you think there would be something with them. I don't see it though. At least not yet. The whale eyes position the same. What about the whale tail? Is it different size? I don't think it does. Let's zoom in a bit more. Pick up on some fish colors. The eye, nope. He looks sad on both, both pictures. Pink, green, orange. Nope. Fish. Yes, this fish is positioned differently. There we go. Only one more to go. Let's make another turn. Let us make another turn. Nope, it's not the fin. It's not the tail. What about all these fish on the right? How can a game like this be so hard? I say it time and time again. But that's that's the fun in the game. Because you don't know what you're looking for. Well, for differences, obvious, obviously, but... You don't know which differences. Come on. Fish. The fish over here, they look to be in the same colors. And in the same position. Only looking for one more difference. The schools of fish look the same. The whale looks the same. Something on the right? No, no, no nothing on the right. This is all in order. The seagulls are in order as well. Zoom out. No. Here, yeah, pink fish on the left. No, they are similar. Also, this fin looks looks good to me. There's probably something again um, 
including a small size difference which you probably have already seen with your keen eyes with your keen keen eyes oh my god I see it it's the seagull on the left here it was a, a size difference it was a size difference but we found it so we can move on to the next map here we go release the kraken ah let's see one of the octopus's rings is bigger on the right I misclicked I'll click the bigger one the chalice in the middle is also different in size there we go the spears, they look normal, the shield looks normal, the barrel differs in size as well. There we go, come on. Let's turn it around. Turn it around. Here we go, the bow and arrow positioned differently. Let's go. Looking for one more, maybe something with the sails. Something with the sails. No, it's not something with the sails. Is the tentacle itself? It's standing straight up right here, and on the right there's there's like an, an arch in it. There we go. Five out of five in the water world. What does the next map give us? Killer whales. After meeting surfers, of dangerous people, surfers, also meeting a big whale and the kraken, we find killer whales. What do we see? The back fin of this whale is different. There we go. The tail of the whale on the right is also different. Differently positioned, that is. As is the fin on the top left whale. There we go. The fish in the middle, the green one, is different in size. And I see the last one already, the fish above the one we just clicked. Here it is brown, on the right it's orange. Quick map, 5 out of 5. And we go to the last map of the water level. Which seems to be underwater, something has sunk. The ship has sunk, lost all its treasure to the Kraken. And what do we see in the differences here? Again, the sword is positioned upside down. There we go, one out of five. All the jellyfish, they also look suspicious, don't they? Seem to be in order though. The clamshell is darker on the left. Yes, well seen, a keen eye. Let's move around a bit. Because we can. It's amazing, an amazing feature. The, the whole 3D aspect of the game. It's amazing. Starfish. Nope. Same color. As is the starfish on this end. The stones are the same. The fish. The jellyfish. They look so suspicious. But they are similar in both pictures. Do not trust jellyfish. A wise lesson this video. What about the big fish over here? Puffer fish? No. The anchor? No, the anchor looks the same to me. The anchor does look the same to me. It's another small fish over here. Are these things all the same color? They seem to be. Turtles. Two turtles. Seem to be in order. Let's make another turn for it. To find some differences you've probably already seen again. I mean, my viewers are usually keen-eyed viewers hmm, 
what can we find? Nothing in the treasure chests. Nope, nothing in the treasure chests. Oh, the other, the other anchor is bigger on the right. I was looking at the wrong anchor. There we go. There we go, looking at the wrong anchor. Also, the red fish is bigger in the right picture. There we go. Now we're on a roll. Only one more to go. Come on, use your eyes. Use your eyes. To spot that last difference, which is the turtle on the left. It's also bigger in the right picture. The turtle on the left was bigger in the right picture. And that concludes the water level. And um, that means we are going to move on to the next world. And in the next video, you will see all the clues leading us um, towards the difference in the ice level, the snow level. Hopefully, this video was useful to you. Again, as I said in the beginning, be sure to figure out all the puzzles for yourself first if you recommend this game to someone else and i really think that you should you should tell them use your own wits and your own eyes and if as if you don't find all the differences as a last resort if they choose to use a guide be sure to use mine that concludes the video for this time and i will see you in the next one the ice world Thank you.